Very windy and dry, especially out there in western Oklahoma. Relative humidity got pretty low, and so we did end up having several fires out west, mm. and we had our storm trackers out, and we had Marty Logan, we had Jeremy wow. Carter, we had Valen Amy Castor, and yeah, um, crews worked tirelessly to get those out, and eventually they did. And yeah, the storm trackers, they were out both Saturday and Sunday because both days were pretty big days, mainly out in, again, western Oklahoma. And today, there's still gonna be a fire threat. It's just be a little bit lower. Technically, we're in that moderate category across central and western Oklahoma. So relative humidity, once again, pretty low, but it's also still going to be a little windy. Now that wind is coming in out of the northwest, though, so in northwest Oklahoma. So out of the south here in Oklahoma City, the Star Integris camera, part of our Lucky Star Sky Kim Network, more of a partly sunny sky that winds out of the south sustained right now at 21 miles an hour wind gust up to 29. We're already at 76, though, in Chandler, 74 in Jones, 73 in Mustang, 72 degrees right now now in Kingfisher. Temperatures behind the cold front, we have dropped down into the low 60s, upper 50s, some low 50s out in Guymon, but we've already approached the upper 70s across parts of southern and southeast Oklahoma. There's the cold front, so out ahead of it, it is a southwest wind between about 15 to as much as around 35 miles an hour behind it. That wind is out of the north between about 15 to 25. So eventually, it's just probably going to take another couple of hours before the cold front eventually does move into the metro, but out ahead of it, it's going to be pretty nice and warm. Behind it, temperatures will slowly drop and then we're gonna be looking for our next chance of rain. Well, I think there will be a chance of rain later tonight, but that's gonna be in far southeast Oklahoma. Most of us won't get that chance of rain until later on in the week. We're looking at Thursday and into Friday. And you can see that spin out to the west, out in the Pacific, so it hasn't made landfall yet. That will be headed our way. But until that happens, it's gonna be a little dry across much of the state. So later again tonight and even into tomorrow, there will be a chance of rain in far southeast Oklahoma. Now, Wednesday looks pretty quiet for most of us, but by Wednesday night into Thursday, the moisture going to increase from the south. We've got a couple of waves moving in Thursday and Friday. That's going to give us a chance of rain and storms. However, by Friday, it's going to be cold enough that or at least in the panhandle, I do expect to see a rain and snow mix out there. But here in Oklahoma City, I think it's just going to be kind of a chillier rain behind it. It's certainly going to be cooler this weekend. It does look pretty dry, but temperatures drop down into the 50s for highs. But by the time we get into early next week, it looks like we should be starting to warm things back up today, though, pretty warm upper 70s in Oklahoma City, about 80 in Midwest City, 83 today in Chandler, 78 in Bethany, 78 degrees this afternoon in Mustang. So temperatures will be topping out in the low to mid 60s across the Northwest later today, but about 82 in Stillwater, 82 in Ada, 82 this afternoon in Ardmore. Overnight tonight, eventually, yes, that one's going to be out of the north and it's going to be a little breezy at times, more so out to the west, but dropping down to about 44 in Guthrie, 46 in Midwest City, 43 in Piedmont, 45 here in Oklahoma City and 48 down down in Norman, but dropping down into the 30s across the Northwest. So the mid 30s in Woodward, but 31 in Guymon, 39 in Clinton, 45 in Stillwater and 43 by tomorrow morning in Ponca City. During that time, the cold front eventually kind of stalls out in southeast Oklahoma. So there will be a moderate chance of rain and storms across the far southeast. But tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will be a little bit cooler, but this is still above normal. So 64 in Oklahoma City, but upper 60s in Lawton. 62 in Clinton, about 59 tomorrow afternoon in Enid. Tomorrow afternoon, again, that chance of rain and storms will stay across southeast Oklahoma with a low threat that they could become low and severe. Quarter size hell, wind gusts of 65. Wednesday afternoon, and now we're back up to about 70 degrees. We're going to see some sunshine, 70s across the south, but mid and upper 60s across the north. By Thursday, here comes that much better chance of rain across Oklahoma City. Highest chances will stay mainly east of I-35, and with any one of those storms, they could also become low and severe. We're looking at maybe nickel size hail, wind gusts of 60 miles an hour, so storm trackers will be out. By Friday, it looks like most of the state will get some precipitation. Now, from the main body of the state, it looks like it's going to be a plain rain, but again, cold enough that we could see a rain and snow mix in the panhandle. How much are we looking at well less to the west more to the east so maybe just west of i-35 of the metro up to a half of an inch or so with maybe a little bit more just off to the east so that's going to give us a chance of rain thursday and friday this weekend though looks a lot cooler and it does look dry as well lisa back to you